Hi, this will be a quick demonstration of a memory patch collection I've put together. Uh, it's intended for use on more modern machines uh, with large amounts of RAM. This machine actually has 4 gigabytes, but I've limited it to only show 512 for compatibility reasons. It also has an AMD Athlon uh, 64X2. So this is a much more modern system than Windows 98 is supposed to run on. Uh, also, it has an ATI Radeon X600 and a Sound Blaster Live with Sound Blaster 16 emulation enabled, which enables uh, sound in DOS games. And that's the important thing uh, with uh, this computer because it's not really supposed to support that. But with the correct drivers and also with the memory patch, the way I've put it together, it's compatible with the Sound Blast uh, driver and uh, specifically the DOS portion. I had to do a bit of debugging to get it all to work. So I put together this uh, memory patch collection and I'm, I've put it on archive.org and uh, I will put the links below. So a quick demonstration with the Duke Nukem 3D of course. And it works quite well. Let's just quickly launch Duke Nukem. Let's rock. So that works quite well. Uh, and you can install the uh, memory patch manually, or you can use one of the two bootable medias I've created an ISO uh, for burning CDs and an HDD image, raw image, that you can write to a USB key or something else. And uh, this will then allow you to. Uh, partition and format the hard drive and copy the set of files which a uh, process which I've also automated uh, at least partially so I will demonstrate booting the USB key And as you can see, four gigabytes of RAM. Okay. So uh, the first option uh, formats the hard drive, makes it bootable, well it copies the necessarily system files and uh, copies the set of files and also makes so the setup automatically boots when the uh, when the machine restarts and boots from the hard drive the second option is to start fdisk uh, and it starts so that uh, you can uh, set uh, disk 2 to active um, that's the whole thing uh, i've um, explained a lot of this in uh, text uh, that uh, shows when you uh, press uh, option 1 here and you can exit to DOS and then you can just have a DOS prompt so um, step 1 uh, assumes you have a primary partition that is active uh, on the hard drive um, one thing that is important to note, so I will not repartition the hard drive because it's already partitioned. Uh, one thing that is important to note that is written about here is that since we are booting from a USB stick that has a hard drive image, that is C. So the 
primary partition of the hard drive you are trying to install to when that will therefore be D. Uh, it could also be something else, but we'll assume a simple scenario. So yeah, a lot of explanation, some further explanation. And now we will quick format. Maybe I can quickly adjust so that it shows everything. Yeah. So, and it will automatically try to um, quickly format the hard drive. Let's not have anything there. And then it will start to copy the um, set of files. The file copy process has completed. And now we can just restart the computer and it should auto start the setup. So let's do that. And as you can see, it's a quite modern computer for Windows 98 uh, standards. there and uh, now we can just press enter and it starts the setup process from the hard drive and uh, not the USB key and uh, when this setup uh, process has finished the uh, uh, memory patch will have been applied it's uh, some uh, two files uh, and uh, changes to the config.sys and system.ini and uh, yeah I won't uh, complete the entire setup process but you don't have to do anything just do a normal Windows setup um, I can quickly just show the internals here it's a pretty standard uh, AMD Athlon X2 system but with the Sunblast Alive in the PCI slot and the ATI Radeon X600. And uh, this is kind of a cool thing because you can use you know, rather cheap or more easily accessible parts to create a retro system. So, yeah. Hope that's interesting for somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs>